Did you know that in the excellent Bioshock Infinite, you can find some loaves of bread giving you the finger? Hello and welcome back to Hidden Video Game Details, the series that aims to show you things that you may not have known about your favourite video games so that you can look really clever in front of Neo from The Matrix. As always, if you think you know of a hidden video game detail that I am yet to cover, then please let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and if you do go on to enjoy this video, then leaving a like would be super appreciated. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So let's once again begin with Prey. Now, in the last episode of this series, we spoke to a janitor who had some very interesting things to say. Well, today's Prey detail once again requires the spoiling of the game's first 20 minutes. As mentioned in my last video, the twist at the beginning of Prey is very well known, but if you want to avoid said spoiler, then head to the time on screen now. So we already know that everything in the first 20 or so minutes of Prey is fake. Morgan Yu's entire life is a simulation. This even includes the elevator that Morgan rides to the roof. If you take an object with you and place it outside of the lift and then ride the lift to the roof, something strange will happen. So I don't know if I really need to explain this, but if you place an object outside of a lift and then supposedly travel up a few floors, that object shouldn't be there when the doors open. It should be on the floor that you left it at. The fact that this spray bottle is still there after apparently traveling up a few floors is proof that something isn't right. Oh, and you may also notice marks on the floors, as if something has been repeatedly dragged on them. Well, these marks are from the wall shifting to give Morgan the illusion that they're changing floors. Again, it's a really clever detail. So when people ask for Rockstar to remake a game, ignoring the disastrous recent GTA remasters, they usually ask for Bully or even Manhunt. But no one mentions The Warriors. The Warriors is a beat-em-up based on the film of the same name. It was released in 2005 on the PS2 and Xbox before making its way to the PlayStation Portable a couple of years later. The game takes place three months before the events of the film, before eventually catching up and letting you play through key parts of the movie. Now, it's no secret that Rockstar aren't afraid of violence in their games, but in The Warriors, it seems that your brutality may be extreme enough to make even the toughest of gang members squirm. If you repeatedly beat an enemy whilst they're on the floor, this will happen. Jeez, man, that dude ain't going nowhere. Why don't you take it down a couple notches? What's with you, man? You're like going crazy and shit. <clears throat> uh, what's going on, man? You think he's dead yet? Fuck. <laughs> you got some anger, huh, War Chief? Settle down, man, settle down. Jeez. So I think you know you've crossed the line when a group of hardened criminals are telling you enough is enough. So over the 70 plus episodes of this series, we've taken a look at how pool tables work in a couple of games. The first working pool table that I can remember covering was in Rainbow Six Siege, where you could actually pot the balls. Deus Ex Mankind Divided went one step further by not only letting you pot the balls, but also showing the balls drop into the table. Well, not wanting to be outdone, Ubisoft have stepped up their efforts in Rainbow Six Extraction. If you pot a ball in Extraction, then this will happen. So much like Mankind Divided, the ball will drop into the table. I mean, it's not perfect, the balls do clip into each other, for example, but progress is progress. Be sure to subscribe for the latest updates on the riveting subject of video game pool tables. So over the past couple of months, we've covered tons of hidden details from LEGO games. But as is often the case, every time I think I featured all there is to feature, you guys suggest something else. Today's LEGO game detail can be found in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. If you attack Loki when playing as Hulk, 
there is a chance that this will happen. So Hulk will pick up Loki and smash him to the ground. This is of course a nod to Hulk's attack on Loki in the Avengers. Now in the last episode of this series, something which I seem to be referring to a lot, I explained my feeling towards what I called weeping angel like scares. You know what I mean, when supposedly static objects move or turn to look at you. Well a close second to that in terms of scares is a supposedly static object that speaks or makes a noise. In tactical first person shooter ready or not, on the Wenderley Hills map, if you stand near this statue, this will happen. So if you wait long enough, the supposedly lifeless statue will whisper, hey. It's another one of those details that I'd love to watch someone experience for the first time. Now, it's been a long time since we last covered Spider-Man 2 on the GameCube, but we're back again with more hilarious Bruce Campbell dialogue. Tutorials are supposed to be the perfect place to learn the ins and outs of a game. One thing that you shouldn't do in a tutorial is die. Well, if you try really, really hard, you can die in the Spider-Man 2 tutorial. And if you do, Bruce Campbell will have some choice words for you. Well, I'm not sure how you managed to die. I mean, seriously, unless you're a professional game tester, there's no reason for you to be dying yet. Oh, and if you are a professional game tester, we're, we're, good job. Keep up the good work, of course. <laughs> Now, next to not dying, I'd argue that swinging is the next thing a Spider-Man should master. Well, if you somehow fail that tutorial too, then Bruce will say this. Uh, any time now, that pavement's not getting any softer. Hit the swing button, will ya? Ouch. I would work on that landing. Remember, it isn't falling that hurts you. It's the sudden stop at the end. You're obviously having some trouble. You gotta have a point to attach your webbing, right? Make sure you're jumping near enough to a building that you'll have something to swing from, okay? Otherwise, <laughs> we can't help you, pal. Watching you splatter on the ground is only fun once or twice. Maybe three times. Okay, it's always fun for me. So I'm pretty certain that's all of the Bruce Campbell dialogue in Spider-Man 2. But do you know what? I'd love to be proved wrong. So let's end today's video with another game that has been covered a ton on this channel before. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is the last COD game that I really enjoyed. And a large part of that is because of the insane level of detail that the game has. I mean, I've already made a video solely dedicated to Modern Warfare and I'm still being told things about the game that I didn't know. Today's Modern Warfare detail can be found on the hometown mission. During this mission, a young Farrah's father is killed by a giant soldier. After overcoming the soldier, with the help of Farrah's brother, you have to leave the house and make your escape. Well, if Farrah decides to spend a few more seconds with her father, she will do this. Uh, goodbye, Daddy. Uh, I can't reach the ladder. I love you. Come, I lift you. So when Farah's father finally passes, Farah will begin to cry before saying her final goodbye. It's a really sad detail that could easily be missed by a lot of players. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of hidden details and Easter eggs in video games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.